Not in Shy Face, still self isolating about a week ahead of time. So uh, here we are, we're enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, how's it going, Mum? It's good. It's good. <laughs> Surprisingly. Mixed, mixed reviews. No, no, it's very good. I mean, but my big thing is we're being very positive, at least I am. And I'm saying, this is it. Me too. We're, we're awake today. We're alive. <laughs> it's spring. There are flowers coming out in the garden. We can come and do gardening in a minute. Uh, we're doing, we're reading a lot. We're uh, chatting a lot. Dan and his children do FaceTime with us. So that's really important. I'm worried about my mum and dad. I'm worried about my family. And then I'm worried about the community. I'm worried about the, the country. He kept me alive for 18 years. So I'm going to get him through the next six months. It's my job. Well, that is part of a British documentary airing tonight called How to Self-Isolate. And you might recognize a familiar face and a familiar voice. Anne McMillan, CBC's former London bureau chief. She is part of the program there. You can see her at the doorway. The show produced by her son, Dan Snow, of course, carving his own place in uh, broadcast history. Uh, Anne McMillan, thanks so much for joining us. You're at home in London. You're self-isolating. How's it going? I must say, every time I hear Dan getting upset, I get a lump in my throat, John. Oh, dear. Um, fine. You know, I, as I said in the documentary that um, is being aired tonight on British television, we're trying to stay really positive. We've been isolating now for, um, self-isolating now for about 12 days. Dan, our son, really pushed us into it because we were still going out and, have, you know, seeing friends and stuff. And he just said, look. My, my husband, Peter, is 82, and I'm no spring chicken. So, and Peter does have underlying health um, issues. So he, Dan just said, please, do me a favor. Stay at home. I'm so worried about you guys. So we did. And what we're doing is that we're reading. And as I said, we're going to we're gonna garden. It's spring here, which is a gorgeous time of year. Lots of flowers coming out. And, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the British, as we know, love to go out. They love their pubs, they love their, their uh, walks in the park, they love their theater. How, how are folks there managing with all of this? Well, I must say, one thing that I've really been struck by is the sense of neighborliness. I mean, London is not known for super friendly neighbors. I mean, we, we've lived in this area now for a very long time, nearly 40 years. And we know most of the people, in our, you know, the next few houses down, but we don't really know people who come and go in other parts of the street. Well, suddenly, somebody's put up a WhatsApp um, uh, street, uh, you know, Ranala Avenue WhatsApp. So we're getting endless messages saying, I'm going to the drugstore today. Do you need anything? Anybody need anything from the grocery store? So, I mean, amazingly friendly. One thing that um, is noticeable is people are still going out and about quite a lot. We were going to go to a place called Richmond Park, which is not so far from our house in London. And uh, my, our daughter was there this morning and she phoned and said, don't go. The car parks are absolutely packed. People are walking all over the place. So you're safer just to go on a, maybe on a weekday. Although, I mean, I guess now that people aren't working so much, maybe it will be crowded on weekdays. So uh, it is, it, it, they are getting out and about. And the weather happens to be very lovely at the moment. Uh, as you say, it is, it is spring there. But can you assess at this point, and governments all over the world are struggling with this, can you assess uh, the, the moves made by Boris Johnson and his government? Well, they've moved quite quite dramatically in the past week, uh, John. The, the, uh, originally, they were talking, uh, you may have heard about this, about trying to flatten the curve. So what Boris described it as a squashed sombrero. So instead of having the cases going up like that, they were hoping they'd sort of spread them out a bit so that the health service here could cope. Well, that's changed a lot in the past few days. They On Friday, uh, the government closed all pubs restaurants, cafes, some restaurants are still and pubs are still allowed to do takeaway, uh, what they call takeaway food. So delivery or pickup, um, uh, takeout food. Uh, but they're, they're, the message is getting tougher and tougher. I think originally it was thought they didn't want to sort of stop everything because it would have totally wrecked the economy. But now that the numbers here are rising, I think today there are over 5,000 in Britain in the UK. And uh, Johnson and his uh, advisors are getting tougher and tougher. Apparently, doctors are going to be sending out letters to 1.5 million people who are considered at risk medically. And, and they will be advised, not forced, but advised to stay self-isolated. Finally, I see you've got a tremendous number of books. Of course, I'm not surprised you have a tremendous number of books there. But um, can I get you just to describe, uh, because you could be there for a while, uh, how, how you will uh, amuse yourself. 
Well, I, you can see we're going to do a lot of reading. In fact, I'm rather proud of this. We This was a bit of a mess about two weeks ago. <laughs> but since we've been indoors, we have totally reorganized our, our library. So we know we're mostly history books, I have to say. My husband is a history fanatic. And I've got all my Canadian novels upstairs. You can't see them. So, so uh, we're going to be reading a lot. We're going to be doing jobs around the house that should have been done over the years. We're going to be going for walks. We do a lot of FaceTiming with our kids and grandkids. I've got two grandchildren in Toronto. So we're on, on FaceTime every single day. It's wonderful. Anne McMillan, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay safe, John. Anne McMillan is the former CBC London Bureau Chief.